dear our and fathers my dear sisters in christ jesus jesus speaks with authority we are told immediately the devils the demons are cast out people really appreciate the gesture of jesus first and foremost each one of us must be rid of all the demons that possess us maybe the demon of ambition the demon of egoism the demon of jealousy let us ask the lord lord heal us completely give us comprehensive liberation from all that binds us we have to submit ourselves to the authority of jesus the teachers of his time always quoted moses or other prophets or other teachers whenever they spoke but jesus had credibility to speak i think one of the requirements of the formators is you should have credibility in dealing with the formis the powerful word of jesus is now also pronounced in the sacrament of reconciliation by the priest i forgive you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the powerful word of the priest acting in the name of christ this is my body this is my blood forgiveness transformation of blood and wine into the body and blood of christ manifest even today the powerful word of jesus the origin says that we drink the blood of christ not only in the sacraments but also in the word he quotes john 6 chapter 63rd verse because jesus said my words are spirit and life we drink the life even from the word from the word proclaimed from the altar from the word we read every day of our life so my dear sisters and brothers in christ let us be really touched by what is happening every day of our life coming to saint gregory the great i was amazed going through the life of this great saint indeed he was great he was a very rich man at the age of 30 already he was the most wealthy person in the city of rome but then he was not attached to it from his wealth he started some seven monasteries and he became one of the monks under another superior one who could govern rome submitted himself in all simplicity later pope chose him to be his representative in constantinople he went there came back against his wish he was elected pope for 14 he wanted to run away after the election somehow he had second thoughts and did not run away he ruled or governed the church for 14 years from the year 590 to 604 all his sermons 
all his letters are really marvelous 14 volumes of each year of his letters and sermons he did not write big treatises but then in the line of saint ambrose saint augustine saint jerome this pope summarized in a way their teachings in understandable language and spoke very boldly his sense of justice is marvelous his love for the poor is marvelous it seems that whenever possible most of the days he always called 12 poor people to da- to dine with him it seems even though he was pope he thought of the poor his attention to the individuals was also appreciable concern for the individuals we hear about the gregorian mass there is a story behind it a monk by name justus had some gold in him amidst his medicines gregory was so angry at him so he told them not to visit him at all the poor monk died after some time then after some days pope said we should have mercy on him let us offer mass for 30 days for the repose of his soul let's how this 30 days continuous mass practice started his themes we hear about the gregorian chant how he organized the liturgical music the great pope we need to especially learn from his simplicity from his erudition from his love for the church from his lack of ambition this great pope now as formators we need to learn constantly from jesus and from saint gregory the great what do we learn i started with having credibility be genuine if you are not genuine you will never make any impact on your formis are you a genuine person sincere person is there correspondence between your thought and word is there correspondence between your word and action or life when this correspondence is lacking then you can never be a formator and the lord spoke what he thought and did what he spoke he is the best example the best formator is the one who imitated jesus in his genuineness i would like to give some more tips for you i don't want to make a big talk but just remember whatever you can secondly be open to corrections you will tell the formis they should be open to corrections but then first and foremost the formators must be open to corrections the formators also should say to the students i am sorry i made a mistake i will correct the next time be open to challenges i have seen so many aspirants postulants and novices yes sister yes sister yes sister like this bowing and then say and then after the first profession they will uh, uh, straighten a little and then after final profession nothing doing by threat you can temporarily establish discipline by credibility and compassion only you can really make a transformation in the candidates 
be loving compassionate companion not a fear inducing disciplinarian fear inducing disciplinarians spoil the whole atmosphere in the community in the church fear inducing disciplinarians are there without your presence how do they behave you have to evaluate and then encourage and affirm i always say you should have emotional bank account in the farmers what is emotional bank account it is the trust and confidence you create in the students by consistent loving and respectful behavior encourage them appreciate them 10 times only then you have the right to correct them once encouraging and appreciating and jesus said well then good and faithful servant even in the parable he appreciated mary of bethany when she anointed him she really appreciated the widow when she offered two copper coins some of them think some farmers think if we appreciate she will become very proud it seems you are proud that's why you don't appreciate appreciate generously that they may grow and the lord jesus is the best formator who gives us an example whenever given a chance the lord always appreciates every day very good excellent that should be the life of the formators and then give opportunities and demand they perform well sometimes there are always some students who are not at all considered at all you say you are good for nothing give opportunities and encourage them to perform that should be yet another role of the formators give them chance to succeed without giving chance don't say you are not good for anything confront calmly in a caring way not out of anger so i always say i will give you a dinner if you make me angry or debate me in table tennis angry in the class so don't be angry unnecessarily even if you are angry at the earliest opportunity ask of pardon and mercy not only from god from the person with whom you were angry and then you have to keep in mind respect their individuality comparison at times is not very good all the time a girl may come from a poor background she may have her own ways of uh, doing things idiosyncrasies but be patient with them respect their individuality and be the first to practice what you ask others to do so many formators as jesus said they don't even bend to do something they ask the farmers to do all the work so i spoke about a community where i sent to one of my relatives she was sick a little girl and then she told me uncle i did not know who is the superior who is the doctor sister who are the other ordinary nurses four sisters in the community i could not make out why she said if she is superior then she will go about like this not doing anything things have to come like that mother when i went to that room where i had to stay all the sisters prepared the bed in the refectory all are washing the dishes and everybody is doing the work i did not know who is the doctor sister i did not know who is the superior of the community who are the other sisters i could not find out from their behavior this is how formators should be some of them do their own way some of the things 
then be available i am sure uh, you have your own rules to make uh, uh, your presence compulsory there are some sisters and fathers who have landing problem they don't stay in the community only landing problem there are some others who will never come out they have take off problem you may have as format as take off problem no problem but do not have the problem of landing be available it is not enough to be available materially you should be available formally the formator is the something serious happens she is taking her siesta a farmy comes and knocks she gets angry furious available not approachable i was there no why can't you tell we once tell uh, told you now is mistress but we knew your reaction how can we disturb you even when there is surgeon be available and approachable material availability alone is not enough you must be formally available you must be approachable you must be approachable all these uh, formators then pray for each one every day i don't want to comment on each of these things just listen make it plain that the prime responsibility for the formation rests on the candidate holy spirit then the candidate they are the primary responsible people in the formation don't think you are the messiah you are an instrument temporarily that's all some of the sisters have messianic complex they want to do everything maybe they all should change from such mentality present models today i presented the model of st gregory the great you have to also present yourself as model first and present other good models examples hebrews 12 chapter says so many models clouds of witnesses tell them about the saints good persons saints of our days good superiors good sisters of our congregation they will be really inspired then admit your mistakes i already spoke about it seek counseling and spiritual direction some of the formators say to the children go to the spiritual father go to the confessor but we have never seen you making confession at all are you a saint more than the words the formators need spiritual direction and confession they forget it secondly also we have to remember is the atmosphere of the novitiate or the formation house joyful the superior the formator sets the tone of the community are you really joyful i don't go to some places looking at them only we know as pope says they have funeral face some of them think if they don't laugh they are holy if you laugh you are not holy this is not according to the mind and heart of jesus what does it cost you to make a smile some of them are like refrigerated buffaloes buffaloes don't have any feeling whatsoever huh if you put it in the fridge what they are jesus was an enthusiastic person formators must set the tone of the community speak well of other staff correct always in private not publicly praise publicly learn how to give feedback effectively prepare well your classes sometimes some professors i have seen they go out and come suddenly they bring the wrong notes uh, wrong file for the class oh i have to teach this subject i brought this subject that's how it is that people know how you prepare for the classes seek the good of the candidate not your own good see to it that the candidate does god's will not your own will 
is how we need to imitate jesus in being formators let us look at saint gregory the great let us look at our loving mother mary let us look at jesus our lord may we form through our life and example with compassion with impartiality with a sense of justice may more and more people be led to christ the lord jesus said let little children come to me do not hinder them formator's role is not to hinder them so many senior sisters or perpetually professed sisters are hindering the young ones from coming to the lord they see in the class the formators always say listen 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 whether they listen to the subject or not they always listen to what you are doing they are watching they keep their eyes wide open knowingly or unknowingly you have a great impact on them may we be seen may we be heard not for the office that we have received but for our virtue and holy behavior may we walk in the pilgrimage of faith as true leaders guides according to the model and example of christ our lord amen